welcome to this video, Super Cheese 7. Yo, I played this this guy just recently and I forgot what it was, what kind of opening it was, or what kind of game. Um, hmm, yeah, I had the Rogozin recently. Was it against the same player? I don't know. Bishop, bishop h4 is really sharp, so I know that this is not very ambitious, but I don't know the other stuff. I really don't. I think I played this bishop h4 here in this exact position once in a tournament game and lost really, really badly. At least this is what I remember. Uh, wait, I could have taken Check. d5, actually. Why didn't I do that? Hmm. Hmm. Not that it necessarily was great, but I should have considered the move. That would be would have been uh, probably a good idea to just think about it. <laughs> you can discard it uh, anyway afterwards, but you should think about it. Okay, so he claims that this is a, a good structure for him. Hmm. Yeah, maybe with some justification. A4. Hmm. Complicated situation. He's got this advanced C4 pawn. The majority in the center is not looking that valuable. And if he takes a pawn, takes the b5 pawn, might easily be a weakness. Hmm. This is what I was thinking. But it also obstructs his, his development. So maybe he has to play or will play a5, a6, some move some move like that and i'm thinking about going knight e5 possibly e4 so um yeah i'm going to take so he's willing to allow rook b7 but rook a1 is obviously very awkward okay so let's get going here ah for tempo Hmm. Thinking once in a while would help. It really would help. What else is it that I expected here? Yeah, nothing really. I really didn't think about this. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's actually a pure coincidence that after f6. I probably can take on c4 for a decent game, getting two pawns and the rook. Yeah, I will. I will take here. Knight back. This this is probably rubbish. Here I get I get two pawns. Okay. <clears throat> I get uh, two pawns for rook and um, for the minor pieces. A rook and two pawns for two minor pieces. Yes. Um, Let's see, c4, c4, c5. Yeah, I should push this. Uh, maybe I should have considered this a bit longer. Um, okay, rook a1. Okay, what if I take b6 now? Is this is this worth considering? Check on c2, king d2, takes, takes. Rook b8, rook b1, and I have e4, d5. Probably, yes, yeah. I didn't plan anything here in this game. Check. This is all happening by coincidence, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that this is brilliant, but... I didn't really 
envision this to happen yeah and, and it, this should be part of your planning in the in the game to see some move once in a while and <laughs> plan it beforehand this is i think quite good now i get the king over to c5 or to, to a dominant position at least to d4 and f4 and stuff that's 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 really good for white for g3 f4 Yeah, this this pawn roller will be a huge problem for him. We probably should avoid f6, yeah. I mean maybe maybe this wasn't so terrible, but when he does not allow the whole thing with knight c4, he's just in a very comfortable state. Okay, so I check. guess e5. Check, check. And now, should I do b7 here? I play that. For, for the pawns. I can also go e, e6. But that's not so convincing. This is this is this is okay. And e6. Rook b7. <clears throat> Rook b7. I can even play d6, I think. Yeah, I can run around here, f6, e7, to promote. That means king e7, so king d8 and king f7 then for g uh, for e7. Black resigns. That was an immensely lucky victory. I really didn't didn't plan properly in this game. I mean, this is this is probably not that terrible. I mean, I, I don't think. The thing is, yeah, I didn't take on b7 because here. I mean, he is just Check. invading. It looks it looks really bad. I didn't Check. Maybe maybe yeah, I just. Uh, that that's that's really rubbish. I shouldn't take. Okay, so I went knight e5, and I really I mean for some reason I didn't really think about bishop f5 that much that it attacks my rook. I should probably play bishop e2 or something. I mean he is in good in a good shape here, but I still should do that. This is awkward. I still don't want to take on b7 because of the invasion. Uh, this is just a passive move. Yeah, and now if he goes something else like b5 or maybe knight d7, b5 looks good though. It has to run anyway, this pawn and then this and then f6. I mean, this is fantastic for black. Yeah, I have fantastic position. And this is uh, all of a sudden mm, allowing me back here. Yeah? Check. And here I'm pretty pretty sure that I should be in good shape, but you know what is bad? The C4 move was bad now. I should, at the moment, I'm controlling his knight. I should start with this and then this. 
Yeah, and this is good. Two pawns is really a lot. Rook and two pawns against two minus. Yeah, yeah. and here he's getting this direct counterplay. Yeah, this, this rook a1 business, this was purely coincidental. I didn't really think about it beforehand. And check. And this is um, this is tricky. Yeah? This is a tricky position. I mean, right definitely is um, at least okay with the three pawns. The way it went, I was more than okay, but I really don't know why. Why it went so good. I went here, okay. And now, played this. Tja, this is maybe already a mistake according to the engine. The comp, but the comp, but what, what the comp wants to play, I don't get. Ah, no, now I get it, I get it. The computer wants to put the bishop on b7. Ah, this is of course much better. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, he wants to do this so that he can actually activate the rook somewhere. Like, hmm, but why not? Why not this now? Ah, rook a6, okay. Uh, bishop a6, I'm sorry. b4, rook a8. Oh, complicated, yeah, complicated. But black here is certainly better off than than he was in the game. This is this is clear. Ah, very interesting. Okay, thanks for watching.